Do you have a close relative who's in like a questionable relationship? They got you maybe concerned or stressed. That's the situation with Ada Thomas. <laughs> I almost said Ada Wong. She's dating Freddie, who we're not sure is reliable or not. He did eventually show up and propose to Ada. But is he being real with that? I don't know. Let's find out as we watch the third episode of Peaky Blinders. I don't waste no more time. Let's get to it. Oh, this song again? I guess it's part of the theme song for the show. Okay. Man, it is tight busy over there. I've decided not to go. Not unless you give me another two pound ten shilling toward the dress. How much did you pay for the suit you'll be wearing? I don't pay for suits. My suits are on the house. Or the house burns down. So you want me to go looking like a flower girl? Yo, know, you're kind of pushing it, lady. You can have an attitude, but know your role. You're talking to the picky blinders. <sighs> Get our drinks on. No. You said you had business. It's a question of who knows what about what. Concerns the factory down the road at the BSA. Big old place like that. Rumors get started. Rumors that there was a robbery. Uh oh. Are they talking about robbery the guns? What? Guns. The guns. Oh, she's right there too. Watch out, dude. That if you were to hear about the whereabouts of said items, we'd pay good money. For who do you speak? The people of Ireland. The Irish Republican Army. For the fact. For the fucking fact. <laughs> oh, damn. I already want the guns, too. Father, why are you so sad on this bright Easter morning? Where will you shut up? Dude, you need to chill, bro. You wildin'. You, you too extra. I joined the IRA. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> very, very good. Very good. I thought you only allowed singing on a Saturday. <laughs> I was going to say that too. Like, is it Saturday? Oh, dude. Already? Yo, they is not wasting time, bro. <laughs> Maybe they were going to make plans like exception or something. Ceremony? Most ghettoest inn I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not renting a room there, bro. <laughs> One star. Hey, how you eat all over himself by mistake? Freaking dog. Where are you going? Oh, there you go. See, that's what I was trying to avoid. Come here. I'm taking you in for interrogation. What? She handled it like that? I mean, the guy is super drunk too, so. Ada and Freddie Thorne were married today. They defied your orders. They haven't <laughs> left the city. <laughs> what? When did she ask if he was armed? I promised I'd run Freddie out of town. Promised who? Everyone! You get Freddie out of town, Paul. Or else I'll deal with him myself. Well, at least he just wants him out of town, right? I mean, he's not wanting to, like, execute him for marrying his sister. It ain't going to be like a Scarface thing going on. What the bloody hell is she doing here? 200 pounds, Freddy. For us. For a honeymoon that goes on forever. You think I can't handle Tommy Shelby? You can't. I'm having trouble these days, and I'm twice the man you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> America, Freddy. They've already had their revolution. You won't have to bother. Would you ladies at least let a man sleep on it? He ain't gonna do it. I could tell by the look on his face. He's gonna lie and say he do he'll do it, but then he won't. I can't imagine he'll be like, all right, it ain't that kind of show. <laughs> I think. You had no business. You 
went after him because he was IRA. I followed him because I thought he might have information. This is an active military mission. Your words. I know that because of our family connections, you take my progress personally. But I don't need you to be my father. Lady, hey, dude cares. He doesn't want anything to happen to you. Looking for titty milk. What was that all about, too? <laughs> Please, gentlemen, no fighting in here. It's all right. So I come as a friend. And as I told you before, I know the Lee brothers. And I know they're going to be at the Cheltenham races as well. They're planning on showing up in numbers and robbing your bookies. Just a word of warning from a friend. That's all. If you are coming to the races, bring that pretty barmaid of yours. Already invited. Yo, she's going to learn a lot of stuff from all these guys. They're all interested in her. Told me you best have a word with Arthur as well. What's wrong with bloody Arthur? He's got the Flanders blues again. Got the what? I can, sometimes I cannot understand what the hell they're saying. They have like them heavy accents. Drinking in church. It's unauthorized. I think I don't know. I don't know how it is over there. Is it true your lady got married? So I don't know. Where is she living there? I don't know. Oh, oh she's man. starting to feel like left out. I think that might be what's going on. Is it you, Peaky Blind? Who stole the goods? I thought after your meeting, I thought you needed a break. <gasps> what bloody gods, Tommy? If it hard on these past few years, God knows you have. We had some luck. It fell off a wagon into our laps. And all you need to know is, it's us that has the machine guns now. And it's them that's in the mud. I, I think the author is affected by the war. That's why I'm guessing he says that you need a break. A lot of soldiers are getting PTSD. Surprise. Where is she? When we were in France, he used to say, when I go back to England, I want to own my own pub. Well. How do we know it's for sale? Everything's for sale to us, Arthur. You spend two thirds of your life in pubs, just pour it instead of drinking it. But you can still drink it, that right? Your pub, you do what you want. Bloody kids. Some rebel rousing union man brought the BSA out on strike. Freddie Thorne and Mr. Campbell thought that uh, you controlled your territories. Freddie married your sister. We'll take your sister in as an accomplice. She'll get four years for sedition. Man, every time something good happens, some other BS falls in his lap. So much beef. Yo, he was hitting the pipe. Dude needs to stop smoke. I don't know if that is opium or something, but he's got to chill because he keeps getting bad dream after bad dream. Put yourself that in. What's the suck going through this? Oh my goodness. Couldn't even imagine. On the low. So, what news from London? I was in a pub. He said there's been trouble. An IRA man shot. Did their high command think it's the Peaky Blinders who shot him? Uh -oh. Tell him to send someone to parlay. Tell him there's been a misunderstanding and we don't want any trouble. You've got enough trouble, right, Tommy? <laughs> the opium. I smell it. I can smell it in the air. Yeah. There you go. And then I hear, and I listen to the shovels and the picks against that wall there. And I pray the sun will come up with the curtains before they break through. Minecraft. What's going to be the sound for next World War? Drones? Drones are going to be triggering people, probably. Is it 
just the two of us going to the races. Something like that. She looks nice. Chubby looks the same as always. I wonder if he has more than one suit. <laughs> this is what's known as your final briefing before going over the top. What's our mission, boy? To stick it to the Lee family, Arthur! Kimber's let his troops go rotten. They're on the take from the Lees to look the other way. We're going to show Kimber how it should be done. Uh, yo, I don't know about this, man. Like, I knew they were going to a race, but I didn't know things were going to go down there like this. So when do we share out the cash? Damn, we kid! <laughs> oh my god. Do you dance? If I'm asked properly. I mean, is it hard to just you, do this? You dance with me. <laughs> some balls that one and she's got some body that one oh dude is thinking unpure thoughts uh-oh hello race oh oh i mean you can't just be robbing people no more choking on billy kimber's boys right i commandeer this stolen money by order of the peaky blinders <laughs> Oh. Nice dress. You can wear that to my pub. Buy the boys a drink. Yo, she's getting all the information, man. She's gonna give it up right to Sam Neill. Not a good situation. I want to suggest that from now on, you contract out your racetrack security to the Peaky Blinders. What do you say, Mr. Kimber? I say you talk business to my accountant. I want to dance. Oh, it's gonna get the bloody tart. <laughs> We're gonna go for dinner at Kimber's house. You go on ahead with Kimber. Just me and him? Yeah. You think I'm a whore? Everyone's a whore. The deal is, I'll give him two hours with you. He thinks he's a ladies' man. Oh! And if you want, just kick him in the balls. Yo! If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. Yo, she said he was a soldier. This is a military operation. <laughs> I bet you said you could have me, didn't you? That's the arrangement, isn't it? Well, yours might be a prostitute, but I'm not. Everyone's a whore. <laughs> uh oh. You're gonna cause problems. Oh! She could, don't tell her she's gonna shoot. She's gonna shoot him. Him of all people. The music's too slow. Brandy Charleston. <sighs> Can make it look like she likes it rough, yo. She better not. Right, you little slack. I tried something, right? Nice. Yeah. Oh crap! Whoa, what is going on? Chill, dude. What are you doing here? I've got another hour. Just wait. I was gonna let you go through with this, but in the end, my conscience put you as the clap. Yeah, syphilis. What? <laughs> She's uh, she's a whore. Let's wow! Go and race in the car. Can we shake hands? I forget this ever happens. What? <laughs> Yo, he. That means he likes her. Like, like he really likes her. She's gonna get in with him and give off all the secrets. You're a fucking bastard offering me like that. He just saved you. I mean, he ain't do good, but. But then you change your mind. Yeah. Why did you change your mind, Thomas? Because I like you. Want to you. Do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> the choice is yours. If you want to see another cool video, here's some listed here that you should definitely check out. Tell them Berto sent you.